Abdi through the first round. How'd it feel out there, man? Um, felt good. Um, that's exactly what I was thinking it would be like. Um, yeah, this was a deep heat, <laughs> but I knew um, I belonged and I could I could finish in that top eight position. What was your expectation with the pace coming in this year at eight keys? Yeah, I knew, I knew nobody wasn't going to try to go crazy fast. Um, the fastest I thought I would go was maybe 13, 15, and I was ready for that. Um, but, yeah, I knew the top guys just wanted to qualify and make this as smooth as possible, especially when most of them are either doubling back from the 15 or the 10. So um, I knew the prelim was just going to be uh, smooth sailing and try to get the top guys in and make it make it nice. Everything been good since we saw you last? Yeah, everything's been good. smooth. Yeah, it was, um, it was training in Flagstaff. I uh, thought I was going to do a race or two, but just ended up training and going out to St. Moritz a week before Budapest. And, and yeah, it was beautiful there. Enjoyed the time with Luis and then came here and we joined Woody and everything. Been really smooth. We saw you get really comfortable up front leading races at USA's. Yeah. Do you feel like it's any different here at Worlds when you're touching the lead? Um, no, I don't think it's any different because US, US guys are um, some of the best in the world as well. So I knew it was just like getting to the front and not trying to mess with no um, messes in the back and try to get caught up with um, falls and everything like that. I just wanted to hold my position and then finish in that top eight position. Um, you said you were thinking of racing, but you ended up didn't. Was, did that have anything to do with injuries or is that other reason? No, no inju no injuries. His coach just thought uh, we could use the training and just to get stronger. And he didn't find anything that was worth racing. So um, training was better. Yeah. Um, I know Mike doesn't like to talk about outcomes that much, but did, I mean, have you had any conversation with him or thoughts to yourself? Like what kind of outcome could be possible or realistic for you in this meet? Yeah, as an athlete, you're always thinking of outcome, I think. You know, it comes into your head. But Coach Smith is there to be a coach. And uh, when he's coaching us, he tells us to focus on the things we can control. You can't control an outcome but you can control what you're going to do and what your response is going to be in the race. So that's what I try to think about whenever my head goes to an outcome. I try to think about um, not what's going to happen inside the race, but what I'm going to do um, to respond to what happens. Yeah. So what, like, what do you think, what do you think in, in the final? Like, what are you shooting for? Medal, top five? You, you got a place in mind? Yeah, I just, I just want to, I just want to mix it up with the top guys, you know? Um, whatever that gets me on that day, I'll be happy with, but um, I'm not, yeah, the outcome is, it's not something we, um, can think about and we don't like to think about. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to compete the best Abdi Hamid can and I know the best Abdi Hamid can is to be in that top position and whether that's first, whether that's eighth, um, if, I, if I race, uh, if I have a race I'm proud of, uh, I'm going to walk away proud and uh, I'm not going to be worrying about what I could have done and what could have happened. Yeah. Abdi, Hadi? Abdi Hadi, how do you deal with that heat? I, mean, the... I love the heat. How come? I love it. It makes my body feel good. My muscles are moving smoothly. Uh, my cadence is way smoother. So I love the heat. It's something that um, I'd rather have anything other than like wind, rain. If you give me, if you give me a choice, I'll take heat all day. Do you think you're a better runner than when you ran this meet a year ago? And if oh, so, yeah. how? For sure. Just because I don't have as many um, races in my legs, you know. I'm fresh. I have good momentum going in. And I'm just a stronger athlete. I'm doing faster workouts and doing more mileage. And yeah, just more experience. I, <laughs> we added Woody. That adds, uh, that adds me. It gives me another level of speed and things that I, I can get better at. Did you watch the 1500 last night and did you think about like, you know, Jakob, everyone views him as the favorite in this race as well, but did that show you could be beaten? Any thoughts on that? Yeah, man. Um, I got a text from Coach Schmidt that said anything could happen. And that's so true, you know. Um, Jakob is a great athlete. You saw him killing it in every meet in these Diamond Leagues and uh, he just got caught on that day and Josh was someone that, you know, learned from his mistakes and learned from his losses. And that's what these championships are about. This is what track is about, you know. Anything could happen and that's why we love it. We love the excitement and we like the, we like the rivalries and yeah, the 15 was so entertaining last night. Yeah. All right, thank you for the time.